Hi, my name is Joseph Parker, the WBA champion of the world, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Well, 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 who would have thought that this particular fight would start off the way that it did? Of course, talking about Derek Chisora and Joseph Parker, which of course is why, why you're here, right? You can see the title. Within the opening seconds of the very first round, we're talking between five and 10 seconds, Joseph Parker was picking himself up off the canvas. Derek Chisora done what Derek Chisora does, threw a huge, huge overhand right, caught the, um, Joseph Parker on the back of the ear, and Joseph Parker went down. It was, it was a legitimate knockdown. Some people may argue it, depends on what kind of style of fighting that you like, as in clean punches. But ultimately, this was a very, very good fight. Derek Chisora done what Derek Chisora does, but with the addition of Buddy McGurr in this one as well, he was throwing a lot more body shots. A hell of a lot more body shots. And I think a lot of people were expecting, and maybe Derek Chisora was expecting as well, was that... Joseph Parker was going to tire as the fight went on with the amount of big, big body shots that uh, Derek Chisora was throwing in. But as much as Derek Chisora had done fantastic, and he was very, very present in each and every round, and there were some pretty close rounds, by the way, but with Joseph Parker, and Joseph Parker even had to apologise to uh, Andy Lee for not listening to him on one round, which is just use the jab. Use the jab, and that's how you're going to win the rounds clearly. When he was doing that, he was winning those few rounds quite clearly. But for me, I felt that when Joseph Parker would throw combinations, that's when he was having more success. Derek Chisora was landing some pretty big shots on Joseph Parker as well. And I mean, we know that Parker's got a very, very good chin, so I mean, he never really looked in trouble at all. And if anything, I'll probably say that Derek Chisora, he looked a little bit heavy, to be honest with you. Um, a little bit more so than what he did in the scales yesterday. But he, he looked like he was punching very, very hard, but he seemed to be blowing from about round number four onwards. But again, that's nothing unusual for Derek Chisora. He does get out of breath and his stamina does seem to drop quite dramatically. But it seems to be that even though he's blowing quite hard in between rounds, he comes out and he's doing the exact same thing. He's not letting up. And Joseph Parker, he's very accustomed to having fighters come at him and him being on the back foot, which is why I said before um, when I was making the predictions of this fight, uh, for those of you who haven't seen my prediction, it's only a few videos back where I said that Joseph Parker would win by either late stoppage or on points. Now, the way that this fight was going, it was just a very good fight. It was two guys who were trading very, very well. And if you haven't seen it, Please go watch it. I mean, I don't want to give up, give away too much information about this fight if you haven't seen it. So I do encourage you to go find somehow of watching it. But for me, I thought it was a very, very good fight. Um, Joseph Parker, when he was throwing those combinations, was having huge success. Of course, Derek Chisora was ever present in this fight, throwing huge bombs, coming forward, eating big shots and that um, himself. Whereas in the past, he may have taken those shots and maybe went down. But here, not at all. He took those shots. But these two tough, tough men. If people thought that uh, this was a boring fight, I don't really know what your standards are. I really don't. Either way, officially, Derek Chisora did not win this fight. Joseph Parker won this fight by um, unanimous decision, or split decision, I should say, sorry. Um, one of the judges had it, was it 115-113 to Derek Chisora? For me, I thought that Joseph Parker did just nick this fight. It was a very, very close one. I know there's some rounds that, that were subjective, and you guys may be arguing in the comment section about it, but for me, it was a very, very close fight, but I think the rightful winner was Joseph Parker. And it's, and it's not just because I predicted that uh, he was going to win, but honestly, I felt that uh, with the second half of the fight, the way that it was, Joseph Parker pretty much held the second half of the fight and nicked a round or two in the first half. So for me, that gives him um, the win. Yes, he did get dropped down in round number one. But anyway, you all drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video.